I'm back. Command interface initiated. Okay. Come on, pasta. We have scattered reports of incoming Falconians. Prepare for battle. We need to hold them off until. Oh my god, my allies are so far forward already. You all are fucked. We need to hold them off until Steiner forces board the dropships and we'll be able to evac. Oh, Sober, you want attention, don't you? Here you go. Come on the chair. Come on the commander chair. Commander, in this adding, we have some additional support from our employer. They have point defenses set up around the base. Wait, really? No, they don't. Do they? Oh, good. Oh, God. I have to escort them so we can get the turrets on. Oh, no. Run! R run! Run, Master Chief, run! Why are you showing your ass directly to the Jade Falcons? Cool map. Fucking awesome map, though. Look at this. I think Battletech has really awesome maps. I think they look so cool. Okay, kill that fucking Loki immediately. I'm so glad I will go in phase four. I go before that Loki gets to. Ha <laughs> you. Am I even like ranged though for you? Yep. Oh, for a minute I thought I was in my Warhammer. Never mind. I can AC two you. That's it. The Jaegermik doesn't even have. Yeah, it's AC fives and AC twos. That fire on him! Hatchet man, run! Run for your life! 55 tonner. I'm interested to see what the upper limit of clan mediums looks like. We're out of LRM range, but we just need to get some spots going. Commander. Or let him keep coming in, I think. By. Look out, Hatchet Man. Nice, they're not moving in to kill them. Good. So hopefully we'll get the turrets online. How's it going? GDL Dervish. I'll come over here and get me some spotting on the enemy. That's what we need here. My goats are having a good time out there, folks. If you hadn't noticed, having a just a great, great time. They sure do love to be goats today. Do you think that's in sensor lock range? Maybe not. Because goats, I sure do. Firing jump I even look at the the loadouts. What have we got? LRM tens. Do you have any core ammo? Nope. LRM 10s with minus one accuracy, plus 50 crit? Excuse me? I've got a sensor lock. Ooh. What the hell is a Ryokan? It's like a little. a little medium. Fucking god, they're ugly. Q, I like them. They're like ugly Q. It's like a little um, Black Hawk. Medium Black Hawk. They're like ugly cute. Clan mechs are really ugly cute. ERM, ERL, ERM, ERL, ERM. Cool. What's up, boss? I want to get Ready, shots boss. around onto the enemy so they don't shoot the uh, buildings and shit. Can't do nothing from there. Do, and whatever I do, do not want to get in the way of light here. Just come to here. Do not want to get in the way of those tar um, guys turning on the turrets. Receiving you. Remember, we want to be in forest if we can. 
just come here to the forest and just tap them so they leave the buildings alone. Yes, yes, yes! You can do it! One turn, one turn! Yeah! Turrets online, that's good. The mechs will scatter and support you. That's really good to get them online in turn two. Probably reserve and let them come in. And then start firing back. Confirmed. Don't shoot till you see the whites of their eyes moment. That hatchet man is so fucked. Lieutenant Brian Scully, you are brave. You got a cool paint job, I'll give you that. Okay, now we need to get a sensor lock going before the turrets start wasting their turns. Good to go. One might already have? What have I got for turrets? Heavy LRMs. Heavy LR You're just tailor-made to piss the clanners off, aren't they? Orders. Commander. Oh, by, by, by the way, this Jaeger mech has 80 armor and uh, 82 armor in the core. Love that. That's always super fun. Let's do this. Let's do something. Sensor lock and... Hang on, you don't have Master Attack. You're the one person who doesn't have Master Attack. Careful. Just over to here. Engaging jump jet. Got a lock. Doing lots of sensor locking. ECM! They have ECM. Interesting. Where is it? They totally just said ECM suppressed. Oh, it's this one? Loki Prime has it? Has it had it before? Targeting computer Mark III. What's a targeting computer? Clan electronic warfare equipment. What is a targeting computer Mark III? Is it just like... It's clanner bullshit as well. It's like all your weapons are more accurate, not just one type. Targeting computer. Cold shots executed by this unit are more reliable. Oh, God. I wonder if I can loot that or if it's built into the mech. Oh, and energy weapons attacks if they're hit and proof by one. Clanner sets. Interesting. built in. Damn it! But this one doesn't have it? No, this one doesn't have it. That's Loke A, not the... I see, I see, I see. Um, right now that Ryokan is open. Let's so probably start with them. With whoever we've got. Ready for orders. The only one who can really get it is Archer. Yeah, do have a bit more to get them within the range. It'll be worth it, I think. We're still out of sight range, I think. Hit them before they get close. Watch out, LRM turret! Oh, those aren't gonna last very long. Damn, that's not gonna last long. Good to go. You're braced, you're not. Keeping the fire going on the Ryokan would be great. Oh, you're really nice chances to hit from there. What the hell? They're really nice. Is that high advantage doing all that work? Because they're they're worse over here, considerably. I think we just moved out of range. Anyway, that's the plus accuracy on these builds coming in handy. Hit them up. Firing on target. Got some nice hits there. Headshot! Yeah! Oh yeah, clan are feeling that one, I reckon.
We're back some more. Next time we'll shoot and retreat. Panic level critical. They're scared. They're afraid. Oh god. Me too. Lieutenant Brian Scully, you are not looking good, sir. They have so many weapons, it's almost hard to keep track of them all. Receiving you. Really nice shots on this Loki as well, which I might do next. Standing by. It makes sense to keep hitting the same thing, but your chances to hit are way worse. You get really nice chances to hit on this Loki, and we need to kill it as well. Then you just sit back here and do it too. Firing. And they're not that braced. Roger. Hit them hard. What are you going to do, Phoenix Hawk? You ran all the way up, you flicked the button to the turrets, now you're going to hit the Loki. Hmm. Half and close. Damn. Goodbye, LRM turret. We hardly knew you. Really, we, we really hardly knew you. I would very much like to finish this thing off if I could. Receiving you. The Hatcher Man's gonna take a lot of the fire this turn anyway, so like getting into the fray isn't so bad, I think, too. Doing some damage. You do it right on the edge of range, you'll be pretty happy. While well, staying in forest. Up high. Firing. We'll Getting Get some magazine crits, very good. Reporting. Get a lot of nice crits when you're fighting clanners because of those XL engines. And remember, even if we don't kill them yet with them, we are doing a lot of heat damage to them. Pathfinder says defend the Hatcherman with your life, Biggs. I don't know how the Hatcherman is going to do here. It kind of depends what the Hatcherman decides to do next. If it'll go. I mean, the Hatcherman needs to just fucking hatch at the Loki. Like, either run away, or hat you, you need to actually run down here and play the reverse slope defense, but otherwise, hatch at the Loki. You, that's your two choices. Standing by. What happened to helping your poor allies? Th there's like two fucking flimsy mediums. I'm not gonna go out there and die with them. I gotta, I gotta play this right. Okay, in this case, let's, I think, ooh, I could take that torso off pretty nice. 80s or 60s. I can move for 80s on everyone, but then I'm not retreating back from the Loki, which is a little bit scary. Don't think that's the brave, uh, the, the smartest thing to do there. The rifle would be better suited to doing that, if anyone. No, you have Koremo as well. Int how, mm, interesting, very interesting. How interdasting for you. Target's taken a critical hit. Definitely do not let these two be seen no matter what. Very given mechs for this mission. We've been given mechs for all of these missions. It's why they're kind of busted in a lot of ways. Takes up a bunch of shit if I just kill you from the side. Didn't get your torso. Critical hit, Commander. Okay. 
Okay, run, run back to here. Copy that. One more turn, and it's either onto the Loki or the Ryokan. I can, like, move over to here. I've got a bunch of armor. And I can just, like, precision strike, hopefully, your torso off, if nothing else. Oh, but I can't get in a forest and get your torso easily. I still should be able to do enough if I, like, come to here. Bye bye. Good job. Half file removed. Enemy down. Shameful hatchet man, not even hatcheting. The air just doesn't like like melee very often, I guess. Oh hatchet man! Oh you get bapped instead, interesting. Whipshot says is Britannia classified as non binary fire sport gaming. I think Brit is our, um, I think she's our, uh, I, I think she is our fire support gamer, actually. But you'd have to ask Brit. I'm picking up a new sensor trace. Looks like enemy reinforcements. You always love to hear that. Oh, Brit says I accept this position. Well, there you go. Brit accepts the position of <laughs> Banyari fire support gaming. That Loki's getting fucked up. This is just a nice little, like, situation where I get to just sit on a hill and kind of be screened by the AI for a while. And have turrets supporting me. This is nice. I like this. Oh, I have another turret. Oh, and another one. Oh. Oh, God. Are they going to come from behind? Maybe from the left here? Would be my guess, if there's reinforcements. Okay, so the Loki next. Wait, what turn is it? How are you still alive? My god. non Panyari fire support gaming, let's go. What's up? Clans have a lot of firepower, but they're no tougher than we are, so keep whittling them down as fast as we can here. Ready for order. Especially with the high accuracy um, auto cannon artillery max. Standing by. Like so. Confirmed. Sono says in your current mechs, I think they might be tougher than you. Yeah, but. Roger. But they're just as easy to kill as any other mech. See ya. Uh, easier, really, with the XL engines. Tango down. They really do feel quite glass cannon y so far. They go off like fireworks dumps. What do you need? It's great. Ryokan Prime is the easy target here, though it is braced. What's the trouble with the AC5s here on you? Obstructed and target moved. I'd rather be hitting this Loki Prime, I think. Maybe just reserve you and wait till they get closer. Unless... Who's going to go third? You. So what you really want to do here is you want to precision strike down the Loki Prime, I think. So that the Hatchet Man gets a chance to do something before they before they pop, actually. Yes. That might be the real game here. The real gamer game. Probably aim for that right torso. Back up. Move into position. 
waiting for orders. Oh, careful, you're hot. You're hot right now, Britt. Look out. It's so hot right now. Britt needs to just, like, sensor lock, I guess. I should have sensor locked first. Silly, silly, silly be rush. Sensor's locked on. Silly boy. Coordinates received. Hatchet man, what you gonna do? Okie dokie. Lieutenant Brian Scully, I think, is panicking. Okay, they're coming from the right? What the fuck? Holy shit, they're behind the base. Holy shit, they're like right behind us. We have turrets kind of protecting, but we need to get around there and defend the base. Yes, boss. That is not good. Confirmed. Yeah, oh god. There's the mad cat! Oh dear. Look out. Jaeger Max. Oh god. Have a gargoyle, by the look of it. Oh no, planners have searchlights too. Well, at least we got turrets apples on this side. We want to fight with the turrets immediately. Hot damn, let's do this. Okay, Thor with. Don't you turn a little light, thank god. Star Captain Abakar Lavonsky. ERS laser. It's the, it's the short range build again from the first mission. Thor Prime with the Papa C and the... I'm just so glad they put LBs on because I feel like they suck. Oh, Mad Cat's so sexy. I would love to have a Mad Cat so much. Mad Cat is so sexy. And it has LRM 40, ERLs, ERMs, and some M pulses and MGs. Sexy Mackie. Oh, I want a mad cat. So mad bad. So iconic. Ready for order. Okay, at this point, the hatchet is like doing things over here. Maybe we let the Phoenix Hawk and the Hatchet Man kind of like hold the line here for a second because somehow it's fucking living. And we try to stop. We, we need to shoot these guys anyway because otherwise we're going to kill the buildings. See, the rule says my medium lance is just three Mad Cats and a Thor. Mad Cats are great. What do you mean, medium? <laughs> you heavy lance, you mean? I, I get. You, mean, you don't mean medium in tonnage. Receiving you. Heavy lance, yeah. Heavy. I'm a bit worried. Yes, Commander. That these fuckers are going to get into sight range of me soon. If they spot my artillery mechs, it's game over. Aye, aye. Game over. Go for the Loki here, I guess. With you, because you can't hit the Evers anyway. Just put out some nice damage. Oh, the loss is terrible here for artillery. You better stay on this side and just keep helping on the left, because you are not going to be able to get in on the right, guys, without falling the fuck over. Good, fuck him up. You know. Mm. Bitch. You know, I gotta be careful here too, because like... Showing the rear like this, even though I'm out of loss and out of everything, if they scan me, they could still LRM me pretty bad. Oh, I really should finish that off, shouldn't I? Order. Someone should really finish that off.
someone. It doesn't have to be me. Like, they can do it too. But they probably won't because they're dumb. Ready for orders. Maybe just keep both the artillery mechs over here wiping out these ones while the dervish and the archer don't have a lot of firepower but can do their best to kind of like get rid of these ones. Because otherwise, like, things very scary here. Moving to position. I'll bring my allies over, hopefully. Got it. Torso? Nice. Good, that'll help out the hatchet a bit. Take that. Now if only the hatchet would actually hatch it. Receiving you. So we're not gonna stick here over you, I don't think. We're gonna try to Oh, but it really like fucking splits me up real bad. Ugh. But I think we need to like walk over here. Try not to show too much ass to them. And meanwhile, draw some fire off the, especially get some LRMs into them now and like hit all of them would be good. So you probably want to put it onto the Mad Cat. And then the stray shots, hopefully. Go into the rest of the, the star. No straight shots, too accurate. What? Panic critical, what? Why? I mean, good- Yes! Finally! We scream for the hatcheting, wrong side to hatch it, but still. Oh, going for the leg. What did I do to this mad cat that made it so scared? It like went immediate panic critical. Man. Planners are very scaredy, aren't they? They're very, very scaredy. Shoot it again. Yeah, shoot it again. For sure. I think my heat's gonna be pretty high. Ooh, I can get away with it. Nice. Maybe precision off a torso if you can. Lose a part, make him scared. Firing full on Crits, go on, eject! Eject out of that pristine That's madcap. Good. Oh, not quite. That would have been so many madcap parts, too. Hang in there, turrets! Hang in there, buildings. The buildings are like kind of tactically tanking right now, actually. It's pretty good. Uh! Get him! Get these damn clanners! Clanners! Hatchet man, look out! Oh, you're fine. They're just like running around down here. I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> the clanners are like some of the- have the best gear and some of the dumbest pilots I've seen yet. <laughs> mm. It's great. Yeah, we're halfway there. I know, yeah. GDL is doing way better here than I thought they would, honestly. Like, they're just not shooting the hatcher, and the hatcher might even be able to just kill them. Squatter says they would have never seen a hatchet man before, so they could just be freaking out. <laughs> it's kind of funny as an idea. The mad is still panicked as fuck, so I think we want to keep shooting it as much as we can. Commander. Keep beating the shit out of it. Much as much as much as we can. Do we have any turrets left here? We have one in the center. I reckon I'm going to scan with Dervish and then hit you with someone else. I want a precision you actually. 
I want a precision and do other shit. But I cannot get the rifles Good to, go. to have a line on the Mad Cat is the problem, so I can't really do that. Just keep helping over here. Kill these fuckers quicker so that you come and help me with the rest of the fuckers. Goodbye! Die, Clanner. Aye, aye. Yeah, get that thing too. Fuck him up. Fuck him up, GDL. Yeah, like, I only need to save three buildings, so letting them tactically die for a little bit, they have a lot of health, is probably good here. Ready for orders. Little tactical building tanking. Little ablating. Is fine here. Yep. On my way. Firing. Fuck him up. <laughs> Bradley says, I like these clanners. They love ejecting from perfectly intact max. It's great, isn't it? We love it. It's great. Who goes first? The mad? No. Good. So, we can see here the Thor Prime goes first. Then the mad should it should be. Thor Prime mad. So we reserve down the archer. The Thor goes next turn. Hmm. No, I still get to scan you. Never mind. Okay, probably just like hit the archer right away. Receiving you. Do it does only also mean taking less damage from the Thor in general. So actually, yeah, actually, actually, yeah, reserve down. Oh, that would have been a nice AC shot there for a die cleaner moment, Lieutenant Scully. Oh, fuck, the mad went first, fuck. Lied to me. The game lied to me. At least it picked the worst possible target. Still panicked as hell, too. This is great. What's up, boss? So now I can just yes, jump you away and scan. Sensors locked on. Door comes up. They hate that turret. I just imagine all those boomers now, like how casually the assault star here is taking this. Like, they just hear, like, this lot, this star going like, Ah! Please help us! We're, we're dying! There's just, like, a bunch of, like, gum-chewing, like, monster energy drink, drinking, like, boomer clans coming in, like, Yep, yeah, time to wipe another bunch of Innosphere scum. Alright, I suppose we could just throw some LRMs over there and help them out. Yeah. What's this? Dervish. It doesn't even have an XL engine. Uh, where are all the weapons? I don't understand. Is, what What is that? Is that a light? Why does it say it's 55 tons? <laughs> that doesn't seem right. You gotta be careful to get shot in the back by the ERLs here. Be really careful because this thing can just fucking body me from the rear. If I allow it. So I think from here there should be buildings in the way. You would imagine. So this should be fine. Okay, hop! Position confirmed. Oh my lord, we need to turn off some lasers. I have to turn off very many lasers. Probably not even precision strike this turn. 
Because you're mainly doing it for the lasers anyway. Confirmed. Eject, Clanner! Inflicted. Give me that mad cat! Give me that fucking mad cat! Oh my god, you're so little. What a tiny little baby. Damn. Panic is not panicking. <gasps> Melee?! What?! Will you sacrifice all your honor in your final moments, Clanner? <laughs> Not Femi guy. <laughs> oh, this would not be nearly as fun without you, chat. Oh my goodness. All right. Yep. Well, you know what time it is. It's time to kill that fucking little shit. Ooh, yeah. Scored a critical hit. Get him. Come on, Phoenix. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> he saw the hatchet man hatcheting and was like, Oh, hatchet man hatcheting. Pretty based. I want to try it. It rams in, exposes his rear to everything, dies. What the hell? This is not based. This is cringe. <laughs> <laughs> Not much armor left in that location. Yeah, the archer needs to move. Ready for orders. Look out, they can see you there. Standing by. Come right here. Rifleman all over him, rifleman. Got oh yeah. Nice little engine crits kill, I think it was. Or was that core? Very action cam on the hatchet man as it just runs away now. Brian Skelly's like shitting himself. Holy shit! The archer's in danger though. Oh, 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 stop, stop, stop. Oh, thank you. Thank you for stopping. Losing armor. Thank you, thank you. Hey, Tyra, you could help out too if you wanted, by the way. Ready for orders. Can we do like master attack and then like walk it the fuck off, I think? That's a really nice walk there. That's a really nice walk it off. Keep hitting the mad kitty. Haven't got much to hit it with, unfortunately. You can do like three at two. You're gonna do two M's. Do two M's and then walk it off with master attack. Yeah, hide behind the buildings and meant to protect. Exactly, exactly. Just for a second, we just need a little bit of a little bit of a help, okay? Position. Just need a little moment to catch my breath, okay? It's fine. The buildings are fine. Oh god! The fuck was that noise? Us? Not PPC? No, I was I think LB LB10. These damn GDL mechs are so hot. I gotta like not shoot for a turn or so, but I want to keep fucking pinging this thing so it freaks out. By. I don't think I can get away with it though here. Hmm. What to do, where to go? TFA the Mad Cat? Okay, I don't know about that. That might be a bit much. I'm gonna jump back to here. Watch out, because they're getting closer to those fucking artillery mechs, though. That's really- the terrain here is really hard. This- this- this lance has my number here. I can start jumping around them and try to hit them from behind. It also gives me the flank I want, so maybe do that. It- it puts me in the low ground, though, which I hate. Ah! 
Commander. The clanners wouldn't melee me, so it's fine. I'll just jump over here, and I'll clanner all over them. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Right? It'll be fine. Right? It'll be fine. Fucking LRMs. Can't do nothing. Probably just gonna brace and cool off. Oh damn, I have no heat sinks. Jumping and bracing doesn't get rid of any heat. We're not enough. I hate Grace and Carlisle's stupid builds. Heat neutral? What's that? Try it! Try being heat neutral, you dumb fuck! I should have sprinted instead, I see now. Okay, they're not close enough yet, but they are getting there. Receiving you. They're getting closer. We can't just get out of the fight. We, I'm, almost, I'm almost out of ammo. Fuck. We gotta keep engaging them. That one's bracer. Not that. Not that one specifically. But I'm also kind of worried about the Mad Cat scene. You were just like, it's gonna blow off your arm immediately. As long as you don't get the core, that's fine. As long as you don't get the core. Don't let him get that core. Reserve. Yes, this is good. Expose yourself. Expose yourself to the rifles. This is fantastic. Oh, and to the... What? Why are you exposing yourself to the dervish? Hmm. Mecoria Tylon, beware. There is a free birth scum in your rear arc. I don't think it matters. It's like a light or something. I don't care. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> it's just one of those annoying bug mechs. <laughs> Pathetic in a spear mech. It doesn't even, doesn't even have heat sinks. It's too hot. It's just burning itself to death. Who, who cares? Who cares? The, po the point is who cares? Who cares, Star Commander? I don't care. I don't respect it. It's it's. I, I don't respect that mech. Aquarius Tyron, be careful. These Inner Sphere pilots have bloodied us readily on many operations thus far on Citizen. I, I don't respect them, Star Commander. No, I, I don't. Squaw! <laughs> Let's go! I was gonna take up that side torso. We're gonna have a great time. What do you need? Oh, that's better. That's some nice accuracy. That's some nice accuracy. What the fuck? That's nice. Heading out. <laughs> Parley says, "What are they gonna do? Stock him out and run up and hit me with a giant axe?" And the hatchet man starts running over the hill. Oh my god! Fabi guy, save me! By the benevolence of Lois Griff. Low Griff. <laughs> this was not a move worthy of the tactical genius of Bry Griff. Or Stu Griff. Stu Griff looks on me in shame. Receiving you. I never showed you, I gotta go to like here. But I can leave next turn, right? Oh, don't worry about it. Just like, it's fine. Just back up more. Oh, I'm just trying to like stay right on the edge of the range here. You know what I'm saying? Like this. Position confirmed. With oh yeah! Now you should be panicked, yeah. Now it's very fitting for you to be panicked. 
I'm so sad we're not gonna get many parts out of this Mad Cat because I, I, it's like my number one pickup I want from the Clanners. It's so hot right now. It's so hot right now. Speaking of so hot right now, so is the Archer, which is just gonna sit behind the buildings, I think, and dishonorably lob LRMs over at them. That seems fun. Yes, boss. Funnily enough, this clan is actually a genius because hitting the rear now is the worst thing I could do to this mad cat. But don't worry, I can like jump shit over here into the woods. Maybe just actually worry about coming around the others. Commander. No. Star Commander, I don't know what's going on. The buildings are shooting missiles at me. Yes, Commander. I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. You said you don't respect them, Pilot Tyron. I, I don't. But I don't. They didn't win. They didn't win. But I'm done. I'm leaving. I'm done. Yes, Commander. <laughs> Waiting for orders. <laughs> they, they didn't win at all. Just clatters like fucking. <laughs> no, my <laughs> now finally the sphere sends the real mechs to shit face us. This mech there, that's that's at least 500 tons. That's a building pilot, Tyron. No, it's it's shooting LRMs at me, Star Commander. It's clearly a mech. You just can't see its legs yet. God, it's it's a hundred feet tall. Let's do this. <laughs> it's terrifying. Receiving you. Hey, right, Dervish. Um. <laughs> let's, uh, let's sprint around behind. Get your six evasion, yeah? Get your six evasion. And then try to turn about on them a bit. Okay, throttle up. What you doing? That heavy defender turret is so strong. Remember when everyone's like, oh, I hate how these fucking turrets are so tanky when we were fighting just the inner sphere? Now we're like, fuck yeah, these turrets are so tanky. This is great. The Uller is panicking again like before. What is the claim for Don Quixote? Don Yoti. <laughs> Don Quicks. <laughs> Didn't even shoot. No, it's scared. They're afraid. The Uller is like, holy fuck, I gotta hide my left. I mean, I gotta hide my right. But, Uller, did you show your rear? Not yet. Yes, Commander. Quick Don. <laughs> the, the clans are very scared little babies, aren't they? They're very frightened. Very frightened. I don't think taunting like this will have anything bad happen to me either. I think everything's gonna be fine. It's donkey, like from Shrek. <laughs> like from Shrek. I don't know if clanners have Shrek. I don't know if they know what that is. Ricochet says they don't understand what happened to the Timberwolf. Just an entire star of clanners thinking that a building just launched like LRM 40 on them and just like suddenly turned in every direction like, ah! Ah! What's happening? Hmm. It's the most important cultural artifact they took with them when they left. Wouldn't that be Paul Blart? They're gonna think Paul Blart's so fucking cool when they meet Jason. Coordinates received. Gage. Hit him up, artillery max. Receiving you. Considering law wise after the first couple of pirate planets, they started sending their unblooded warriors to get experience against house units without knowing this makes sense. Yeah, the the Jade Falcon is doing what you do when you're like, let's send the low-level pilots now on this one skull mission. Now what the hell is this? Croker's Marauders? What faction is that? I haven't heard of them before. I don't even know who that is. Ooh, that's the Erpiker. It would it would be nice to salvage Erpikers, but it would also be nice to take off the Erpiker. So it doesn't kill me here. 
We've only got ammo left for one more AC5 shot. Make it count. Five ammo gone. Yep. Could have used another ton, Grayson. Standing by. Okay, now we return with the Archer, I think. Maybe. It might be a little bit preemptive to return of the Archer, actually. I can't even fire the other weapons, so. Come here. Coordinates received. They wouldn't have the cultural knowledge of Disney to appreciate Shrek. You think clanners are like the worst possible audience for like Marvel movies? Because they just, they would not get a single reference. I don't understand what's happening. Or they just all clap a lot because it's the first time they've seen it. So they're like, this is so fresh and original. I don't know. I don't know which way that would go. Yeah, Archie's going to have to censor looking cool, I think, and then come out next turn. Oh, I want to hit you up so bad. I think reserve at least one turn. Holding for the right opportunity. The Hashman is just still running away. It's great. Hashman is like, I did my job. I'm out. All right, y'all done now. Let's do this. Oh, that's actually kind of big brain. You like blocked off. You like blocked off the perfect rear shot I had on that Thor. It's actually semi big brained. I'm gonna have to jump jet if I want it, which I, I do, of course. Of course, I want it. I'm probably gonna like overheat like fuck, but I do want it. Come on, you can do it, right? Oh! I'm just gonna turn one of the SRM2s off. Ooh, yeah. Solid connection on that one. Paxi says clanners wouldn't notice the quip. They just spend the entire movie arguing about the Iron Man suit. <laughs> so, Sub Hedgehog says clanners would definitely clap and offer to fight anyone who questioned the bravery of this rocket raccoon. <laughs> oh no, don't. I don't think the clanner should be allowed to con battle clanner contract Rocket Raccoon's name, though. <laughs> that, just call them Rocket Rack. Rock Rack. Don't, don't do the other contraction. <laughs> no. Clanners, no. It's Rock Rack. His name is Rock Rack, goddammit. Damn you. <laughs> Lord... Uh, Lowface is like they just get used to the quips. He's right behind me, isn't he? he Becomes so ingrained in clanner culture, they just shoot behind themselves whenever they feel a little paranoid. Do you? <laughs> That's like the worst case of like the clanners love them all so much. Yeah, they just start like taking all of the all of the quips. You're fighting clanners on the comms. It's just like, the <laughs> come on, no. It's like a twelve on twelve like MWO. A single inner sphere mech like a firefly jump jet at a kilometer away. 12 clanners at once on the comms race each other to be the first one to say they fly now they fly now and they're all just like fucking <laughs> talking over one another <laughs> ready <laughs> standing by every single time it happens it's horrible it's ruining their co cohesion it's absolutely fucking up their comms holding for the right opportunity Uh, what can we do here? <laughs> Nightmare Discord call. <laughs> Clanner Lance coming over the hill and playing the Avengers Assemble music over the, <laughs> the public radio pit. We're never gonna finish this mission. I'm laughing too much now. What the fuck? We gotta finish the fucking mission for fuck's sake! Alright, 
we're gonna LAC. I'm like hitting you from the front and the back at the same time. This is so fucked up. Receiving you. <laughs> okay, um, okay, okay, shit. This thing's gonna come kill my pilots, by the way. <laughs> Maybe we should just like precision strike this fucking thing. Get the fuck away from me. Get the fuck away from me. No, you're braced. Never mind. Never mind, never mind. Um. Oh god. Okay, just just shoot at this one. Fucking hell, shoot at this one. Reminder, this is the last turn. Oh, thank you, I actually forgot this is the last turn. Solid connection. Shit, you're right. This is it. I'm glad we got the Mad Cat then. D does the mission the mission just ends right I can I can overheat on the dervish and I won't I won't get fucked for it I think I'm pretty sure it does no they're gonna shoot me though careful just shoot him with the L's and then leave I'll shoot him with one L and then leave confirm fire it Reserve, I get- well actually, are they gonna be able to kill any of these buildings? Do I even need to screen for them? They're so tough. No, they can't even kill them. You just let them- let them do what they want. Oh my, is he playing Battletech Extended Commander's Edition? Man of War is gonna LBX some more buildings. Take out that 500 ton super heavy mech! Oh no, they're gonna kill it! No, it's okay, because I shot the Thor, so the Thor should shoot at us, right? I don't know, maybe. Waiting for orders. I don't know, maybe. Twenty-five, twenty-five, twenty-five. Six by twenty is one hundred and twenty damage. Wait, oh, they finally gave me plus damage LRMs. Damn, plus two damage LRMs. Holy shit! Do a pair of precision strikes, I guess. It's the last turn. The final... Wait, what the fuck? Oh. That's okay. I can just shoot you, though. Yeah! Fuck him up! Blow that side off! Right over, raiding a party of eight. Oh no, I can't get your rear now. No! Right over, thank you for the raid of eight again. Appreciate it, Rattle Rabbit. How you doing today? My one chance to kill this this mech. Gone. Maybe. Receiving you. Wait, it'll stand up again. <laughs> Sorry, it's me. Turret's mean. Oh, it's gone, engine crits. Carry my ashes to the shrine of family guy. Standing by. Move order received. Firing. We did not even lose a building. <laughs> Will chat just happens. Oh my god! What? <laughs> Their lance mates fucking die. The man of war just looks at them. Well, that just happened. And the Ulu shoots someone L laser in the face to distract them. I want to say it. That just happened. I said it already. That just happened. Mission successful. Silence. Continue destroying the 500 ton mech. <laughs> that kind of did just die to a turret. 
Jade Falcon has not been having a good time here with us. We've been doing good. Uh uh. Uh uh uh. This was a good planet. This was the easiest one yet, not even an exposed. Balti says, I mean, they're getting a whole planet out of this, so. Uh, yeah, but they're honor brains. They're honor brain. They're gonna be so mad that we beat the shit out of them. They're gonna be mad about us specifically. This is my last chance to get clan gear for, for like, a second, I think. Like, I'm gonna go to the Karitan planet next, and then we'll be fighting clanners again after that, but we're probably gonna jump to some Karitans. Do we get three DHSs, or do we just keep getting the gear? I think you just keep getting the gear. The gear is so good. Like, I want these ERL lasers. I want one. I want two. But I don't know if that's the best thing to take here. Oh, two Mad Cat Prime. No, no, you can't pass it up. Get the fucking Mad Cat. Get the fucking Mad Cat. Gotta have the Mad Cat. Subject says I just lost a pile to a double headshot. Ooh, rip. Sorry to hear it. Sorry to hear that. This is going to make the Warhammer into the most insane fucking thing you've ever seen, I think, if we get this as well. Do I need the DHSs? Sammy says, it's worth remembering that if you take three DHSs, you will get nine pieces of better loot. What do you mean? I feel like I need at least one DHS and a hammer. And we just got to roll the laser instead. We probably won't roll the ERLs, but that's fine, because I just remembered without without the DHSs, we can't we probably can't run the ERLs as well as everything else. You take three DHSs, then you roll lasers and parts. Yeah, you're right, because everything here is good. Though in this case, I am gonna go for the two pieces of the Mad Cat Prime as well. Cause I want that fucking thing. Oh no, you can roll them. Look, we got another one. That's really nice. Hey! I clap! I clap! Yes, yes, yes! Now, we don't have one to go on the Atlas as well, but that is a clan ERL laser to go on the Warhammer. And we got the PPC. And we got an ERM laser to go on the Atlas instead, which is how long? Really nice. And we got two DHSs, so you can get them. And we got so much mech salvage. This has been a very, very lucrative flashpoint. Oh, yes, indeed. Clubber 10 can go on the throw if you want. I don't like LBs. And the clanner ones aren't any more impressive to me, honestly. I just don't like them. It is rare I just go something in this game and be like, I just think this is bad, but I feel like so far I just do not like the LB. I, do, I just don't get what they're good at. Like, that I couldn't do better with other things. I don't like them. I do not respect them. Wait, that's it, 500k? Now Paul ever get Chevin back? <laughs> I can do a poll, but I'm pretty much certain chat's gonna be like, fuck Chevin. But I will allow it, because this is the only chance, probably the only time we're gonna fight with the Grayson mercenaries. Sammy, create a I'll, I'll create the poll, I'll create the poll. This is only chat. I, I reckon it's gonna be like 90% fuck Chevin, but enough people have asked. I'm gonna give you all the option. Poach Chevin back from Grayson. Fuck Chevin. Leave them with. Leave them. Turn one of the pilots into. Ah! Bring Chevin back. The you have to understand here that if the if bring Chevin back does win. We are, quote, hiring them back from the GDL, but I need you to understand that, and, and this is why I think no one's going to vote for it, but I'm going to give you the option anyway. Um, you'd have to understand that it's one of the existing pilots uh, that is training up will become Chevin, essentially. Um, which means one less chance for the rest of you to raffle. So really, does Chevin really deserve to take one of your precious slots and come back? After they chose to leave and go fight with the GDL? I'll start the poll, but I don't even... You know what? I think it's kind of funny. I think it's kind of funny that Chevin left. And Chevin was like, thanks for supporting me, Commander. Actually, no, I didn't. I said, please don't leave. And then Chevin was like, sorry, Commander. I'm just going to go anyway. Bye. G G Grace is going to change the world. Bye. It's actually kind of funny if we just, like, leave now with this being an option. 
with all of the GDL like smoking and fucked up and then our pilot's just walking off like chads. Oh, hey, Chevin. That's how it happened in the TV show. In season two, Chevin comes back like this. There's a little cameo. Oh, hey, Chevin. How's it going with the GDL? Yeah. Well, you know. Hey, he's changing the world, of course. He's changing the universe, so I, I hope you're having a good time with him. Anyway, I'll see you later. <laughs> We've got to go uh, make another alliance with the, the Great Houses. Clan J Falcon kill them. If the, if the vote fails, is that what happened? Commander Glover flying off this planet. Falcons didn't stop at Hamar and sent their fighters after us. Oh. Excellent job, Samira, getting away from the Jade Falcon fighters. Whoever wrote this needed to do some needed to get someone to like go over it for them. Thanks, Commander. They were very determined to get us, but we were able to get away unscathed. Next time it will be them who will be running away. The big brain am winning again! Commander, your performance in there in was outstanding. It was a real pleasure to fight alongside you. I need to admit we were lucky to get away from Falcons at Hamar. No, we weren't. True, and excellence should be rewarded. You'll get a 500k bonus on top of what's been agreed in the contract. Signed off by Katrina Steiner. You've impressed a lot of folks at the top. Oh, nice. Next time we meet those clans, we need to be more prepared. We were over our heads in this fight. No, we weren't. We fucking beat the shit out of them. Tell me about it. I lost too many good warriors during this campaign. Next time, we will be prepared. Good luck with your future endeavors, Carlisle out. Bye! Jade Falcon had a serious technological advantage. I will also contact my friend at Nice to see if there are any recent developments. Great idea, Yang. Their pilots are also very well trained. Much better than average Inosphere mech warriors. True. Darius, I need a full detailed report on the campaign. 71% fuck Chevin, I knew it. Sorry, Chevin, when you watched this VOD, but I knew what had happened. Darius, I need a full detailed report on the campaign. It's just got, like, that fanfiction writing to it. Because a modder did write this. Not Harry. This is taken from BTA, I think. But it has got, like, that fanfiction, like, modder writing to it. Anyone can be a writer. That's just You just need a keyboard. It's fine. <laughs> it's just, like... The clatters are very scary. Yes, I am scared of them. Yes, Commander. Oh, I get, like, things, too, do I? Or is this just a Thunderbolt? Yeah, this is just a Thunderbolt. Yeah, we get a, um... A DHS case Thunderbolt as well, which... You know, okay. Sure. That's exciting, I suppose. That neck you asked for is cleared for fighting. And we get a melee. So that's good. H Hanger King? Yeah. Make, make, they're dating. Where is it? They're dating. Hanger Queen, you can choose between Thor or Thunderbolt for your boyfriend. Which one do you pick? <laughs> Chevin is left, left of Grayson's Marauders, Grayson's Death Legion, and now I must read this from Subject. So you're going by Chevin now, nerd. Haha, <laughs> what's up, douchebag? It's Subject G from Croker's Marauders. Remember me? Me and the guys used to give you a hard time at the Argo. Sorry, you were just an easy target, lol. I can see not much has changed. Remember Sarah, the girl you had a crush on? Yeah, we're married now. I make over 200k a year and I drive an Atlas. I guess some things never change, huh, loser? Nice catching up, lol. Pathetic. <laughs> and I drive an Atlas! <laughs> And we out! <laughs> so that's it. The Falcon's Claws is done. And now what? We could go back for the long hunt now. Like, before before I go on to go further north now and keep fighting the Clanners, I want, like, a little period here just to, like, get my mechs in order. And I also want to, like, get that Karitan rep, I think. So doing this Flashpoint could be good. Just go and, like, body this long hunt flashpoint, hopefully, of our new shit. Uh, and then come back north. Fly through our, like, Karitan faction store on the way north. Maybe not even stop, just by there. And then come and fight the clanners. CW Rule says there's a second GDL flashpoint that it shows up after a while. Cool. But, yeah, Draconis. My Draconis rep is really high, right? It is currently 93. Yeah, so the, the flashpoint will absolutely push it over the top. Probably get a bunch of money, too. Flashpoints are usually worth doing. Why is standard territory yellow now? It's blue in my game because this is Fedcom. This is um, I literally have the picture for it. Um, this this is that that's the result of the Fedcom union. Um, Steiner and Davion are they, they they teamed up. They had a cool wedding and everything. Hmm. What is this? 
this? Headhunting. Torians, eh? That's only 105. That's only 99 days travel. I'll be right there. The bull shark flashpoint. I'm glad we didn't do the bull shark flashpoint. I'm glad we didn't get delayed and we're up here now. This is way better. We're getting so much good shit. I'm not coming back down for that. Okay, let's go do this um, job for Bob Carita, I think. And then come back up. Let's do it. Roger that, Commander. Course plotted. So a nice little first blood against the clanners. Now we also need to do our... Mech Bay. So it's finally time to do those builds. And boy, have we got some fun ones to do. It is tempting to just straight up put the L laser um, onto the Atlas, because it like completes the build so nicely. But it does make it very hot, actually. That makes it too hot. Too hot! Hot damn! The ERA laser is a lot of heat. So maybe don't. Let's go to the... Let's go to the... Uh, oh, I could build the damn Thor, too! Which doesn't have the quirk, but like... Is there a reason you wouldn't just use the Thor? Because I don't have the quirk. It has 10 more heat sinking default. How much? It has 30 tons for weapons. How much does the hammer have? If you take off all the other shit. Just like strip all the gear. 42. So it's still pretty good. It's just two extra tons. I think we stay on the hammer because the optimized capacitors are good for those headshot soup race, as we were talking about. So speaking of which... Take off the L laser and get the Hell laser. Oh yeah. So everything we have now has at least 690 range. That is disgusting. That is disgusting. That's gross. That's so gross. We do lose the accuracy of this L laser and because because the optimal, oh no, I was gonna say the optimal is the same. Nope, the optimal is the new, yep, never mind. This is gross. This is super gross and should not be allowed. Um, it's also a ton lighter, yep, which means we can put on fun things like DHSs. My two new DHSs go straight onto this hammer, I think. Boom. And... That's an expensive torso to lose. Um, put this one up here, maybe. I already have one up there. Uh... Uh, uh. I can put the tits in the leg. Though it's like... Less... Okay, what you should actually do then is go this. This. Again, expensive parts to lose here though. Very expensive parts to lose. But 66 to 80 is 76. It's a 14 heat delta. Do, I, do arms give an aim bonus in this mod? They do, but I'm not putting gear this juicy in the vulnerable arms. In this case. CDHS is supposed to be only two crits. It is. It's only two slots. God fucking damn. This thing is about to fuck your life up. If I want, I could put a hit gyro in, right? Don't I have another one that's minus to being hit? No, I don't. I think it was on the rotor. I could move that around. Anyway, this is pretty sexy. Maybe positioning should be spread out more, but this is pretty sexy. What about minus one PPC, more L laser? Um, I mean, with the, with the ERLs, if I had like a second clan ERL, I would consider it. But, I mean, the clan ear PPCs are also important so that you can headshot with them, is the thing. So I think the PPCs are really, like, critical, and they also do good stab damage, even more now. I think this is just good. We're losing some armor on the arms in favor of the legs, maybe a little bit, yeah, just because, like... These legs, very strong. Need to be very strong, at least 135 on both. Yo, 
yo, yo. Too hot, hot, god, hot damn, hot fucking damn, actually. Take this down to 100 on both. 140 on that one. Yowie, this thing is gonna do some damage at some range. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. Now the Atlas. We have another bite of pasta here. We could just go to the RD20. Probably the best option. Um, though it doesn't use my heat. I, where are the ERMs? I just said I got ERMs. ERM. I only got one. I think that's it's all right. It's thirty-five damage. Going to LRM five, five more LRMs would be five more times five, which is twenty-five in their own right, and it all is at long range. It's the same spot, and I can get more ammo. Yeah, I said four free three times, not only because we put Clan Gauss on, baby. I have to put on heat sinks now. Which is kind of a waste. Don't do the don't do that. Let's go for the RD20. I think people are right. RD20 time. And now you have even more damage. You can bring in another ton of LRMO and that's it. So that is. I don't think I've run out of Gauss ammo yet, because I don't like base assault. I have so much. 8, 16, 20 turns of Gauss fire, plus even more LRM fire. This looks good. This is very good. This is some explosive legs. Well, Gauss ammo doesn't explode, but otherwise, yes. Long. Big gamer. Uh, what else have we got? What else have we got? The Thor! We have to fucking equip this thing. I used all the good gear already. What are we gonna give it? It is... Is it really a 65 tonner? No, it's 70, right? Yeah, it's 70. What do we build this with? A lot of shit. Max the armor for a start. It's way faster than the Warhammer, is it? 140 to 240. Loki's 65 times, right, right. It gets jump jets, too. Holy shit, it gets jump jets. This is fucked up. Because it's a Thunderbolt, it's just a big Thunderbolt. AC20 or Gauss, then go from there. Yeah, I think a Clan Gauss and is, is gonna be really good. They, they fly now. Um, Gauss and the Leggies. That is 16 rounds of Gauss fire, which is pretty good. Maybe you want to like really cheap LRMs. Just clanner bullshit. Clan LRM 15, like I was saying before. Which is gonna need probably at least one ton of ammo, not two. 15, 30. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da. That's eight rounds, so go for 16. Two tons of ammo, and then... Again, like, ERLs. I want more clan ERLs, they look really fucking good. I can put the ERPPC on, but the heat's gonna be... A... Not actually that bad, damn. When you when you factor in heat sinking, it will be bad, but... If you don't heat sink, not that bad. Um, but I, I am probably gonna be sinking, so... I mean, sorry, I am gonna be jumping, sorry. But, I mean, that is the power of Gauss, it just is no heat, it's so good. Blazer? What? Shut the fuck up about blazers. I need more Clan L's and Clan M's. Clan L Pulse. Uh, Gauss Rifles do have inherent accuracy bonuses. PG says I drop the LRM and go PPCs. Yeah. Clan L Pulse is cooler than the PPC and very nasty. Let, let's see what the Clan L Pulse is like. I don't love Pulse weapons in general. It is a little cooler, but it's still not... Oh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's almost heat neutral, actually. That is kind of cool. It's not my ideal thing to leave here, I think. Like, I would rather have... 
I would rather have like an ERL and some heat sinks or some ERMs and some heat sinks. But it's okay. It's all right. Hit defense would be really good on this mech. I feel like for it to do its job in the mid lining. Fifty damage for how much heat? It's um. Uh, 23 heat, which isn't that much more than a normal L. The big thing is it's got really long range and it ignores 3 evasion, which is cool too. Yeah, this ain't bad. But I would like to stick on the hit gyro too. Well, we'll see if we like um, L's from this, I guess. I'm going to have to cut off a little bit of armor. Yeah, hit is zero turns. Yeah, I just gotta put it on. I, I, I think I gotta take off the Marauder. Is who has it on right now, or someone has it. Range trying to be amazing for you too. Could you up the LRM for more CLPL if we have one? I think the LRMs are just such good value, personally. Like, we do have another L Pulse. But, like, this is 3.5 tons for this. Like, this is just amazing, because you need more heat sinking. For the L pulses. Like, I just, it just seems like clan LRMs are just so fucking good. Plus, having some indirect fire can be really useful. 5.5 5 because of ammo versus PG? Yeah, 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 of course. Of course, of course. Let's bring the legs down to the torsos a bit more. Look at how good they are. They're very good, yeah. They're very, very good. My legs are a little bit light here. I wish they were a little bit lighter. That's why I want that uh, ERL instead of the L pulse. I think it would fit perfectly here. But we'll give it a go for now. Yeah, this is the firepower with, with near max armor and a rack of jump jets. Full rack of jump jets. Yeah, this is this is cool. I like this. On it. I'll let you know when that's done. So yeah, who who had the hit defense there? I think it was you. Which makes sense also for the Marauder in general, because you are you you do have like hit defense anyway, as like your thing. It's just been so long since we've used the Marauder, and I wonder if like like, I still don't see us using it now, in, in a way, because, like... PG says, think about how this is a bad clan mech. Yeah, I want that mad cat. I feel like the Marauder, at a certain point, we just realized the Warhammer was better because of the energy quirk at the job. And then the Atlas came in and took away the slot for the Marauder. Don't we have another minus two hit defense around someone? I don't know. Let's have a look around. That's minus one hit defense. I think the Atlas had the, the 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 two one. There's a lot of mechs here, like the like the Oni here too, which is just gonna be hard to like justify using. I feel like he makes to retire. I mean, probably yeah. Uh, it's kind of what we're looking at now. I think you put the jar in the Atlas. Yeah, I think the Atlas has one right now. We want a good one on. Hey, you have AMS. What the fuck? Oh shit, this is the new Thunderbolt. Oh shit, and it comes with motherfucking- Oh shit, it comes with a full load, of course it does. Which means I can put these DHSs on the hammer. Oh, 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 ah, 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 ah. Oh, buddy, even if we just take all the gear off this thing. Remember, by default, it also has um, the DHS engine, which is good. It also has case, which is cool. But that's like, oh, we could take this and put it on the... Oh my god, that's five DHSs. That's worth it alone. Not even the Thunderbolt, just the DHSs is worth it. Oh my god, and the AMS is redeployable. Oh my god. Oh my god. Plus two missile defense aura. So you're 10% less likely to be hit by missiles. And when they do hit, minus 15% incoming missile damage. <whistles> oh my god. What about the AMS on? I would say the Atlas. So now we're we're the tonnage, the tonnage. Sell the T-Bone and keep the gear. Um fuck. AMS is explosive. Oh, is it? Yeah, this was a flashpoint reward. Mm-mm. -mm, the gear here is good. Mm-mm. -mm. 
I guess... Mm, sorry. Food. I guess with new tech max, that's one thing I should keep in mind when I go, oh, it's so expensive to buy max. Is if they come up with a full suite of new tech, that's pretty good. Um, I feel like we're still not going to use you because we're just going to use the Thor in your place. So I feel like we just take all the shit off you. Right? Because you're still a Thunderbolt. No offense. I feel like, if anything... We take all the shit off you, and then if we want to use you, we, we we just transfer the Hanger Queen's spirit into you. Like, we take the Hanger Queen's Persona core, and we just re replicate her build over here. But take all that fucking gear off, and let's put it on the other mechs. Holy shit. Yeah, we're going to retire the old T-Bolt, and... <laughs> SMS has been racist to T-Bolts, but qualifying of no offense, so I can't get cancelled. Yeah, I think we just retired the old T-Bolt and put her put her soul in this new one. Yeah, Hanger Queen rebuild 3.0, that's right. Give me all that shit, thank you. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. Now how does that change my builds? Hang on, now I gotta wait till everything's done and look at them again. While we're on the fly here. Okay. Now I need to fit AMS on someone. This is where putting the clan LRM15 on the Dervish would actually have been good. Because I could use that extra saved. I could have used that extra saved. The AMS should go on the Dervish. So that the Dervish has the ECM and AMS auras. And then the Dervish can focus on positioning. So I should have put the clan LRMs on here now, even though you lose a bit of damage, I think, on the LRM-15, but maybe not. Take take this down to a clan LRM-15, you lose a little bit of damage, because you, you haven't got the plus two damage, which is really strong. But then you can fit the AMS on. And does Case protect the AMS from killing you, or is it just for ammo? Because that, that's, that's the key then I hear, I think. You have to take that off the Thor, actually. I need more clan LRMs. And then, yeah, we put the AMS on here. Want to not get attacked by LRM much because of the ECM? But it's an aura, see? It's an aura. I don't know how big it is. I hope it's as big as the ECM. We'll have to figure that out on our next mission as we test it. But the idea here is if it's if it's the same range as the ECM, or similar, then... Uh, CW says it's very small. How many hexes would you say it is, CW? It's nowhere near ECM. Okay, then, then in that case, maybe not on this one. Like, three hexes? Okay, then maybe on the Atlas, like I said. Maybe on the Atlas then, like I said. Though now you have to fit it on the Atlas is the thing, because we just got this new build. I mean, I still have the RD-15, right? You could go back to the RD-15, which was doing just fine. Because that is... It gives you too many tons, that's 11. RD-15 is 8, 9, 10, 11. I have nothing to do with the extra tons then, is the problem. Cliché says it's only adjacent hexes, okay. Is the Atlas really suffering from getting hit by missiles, though? I mean, out of everyone, it's going to be the one that's suffering from it, yeah. What's the t what's what's the weight? It's, um, 1.5 for an AMS. What if you make the Dervish the tank spot and everyone else just snipes? It's also a thing that, to look at, yeah, but, um, that's probably better with, like, the Thor. If anything, you would do that with the Thor, I guess. Okay, simpler, simpler questions. Let's fit all these damn DHSs on this damn mech. This damn stupid mech. Let's get this up to a heat neutral. Um, so take off all the shitty normal inner sphere loser sinks. Losing this Warhammer is going to be like the greatest... The greatest crumb of my life, if it happens. It's gonna be horrifying. The humanity. Two more Ds on there, now we're down to an 8 heat delta. <laughs> that is so nice. Gods, that is so nice. This thing is loaded with these fucking things. Seventy-two heat for eighty of the exchanger. 
Brings it down by 9. So if I wanted to just spam DHSs on this mech, I could just put on two DHSs and get it to that. But I think the Exchanger is better here. Also, don't put all your DHSs in one basket. The Exchanger gets a lot of value here. We want some Exchanger Pluses. People said the Exchanger Pluses exist. We'd, we'd love to see it. Harm and Leg Lost First Mission. No. God, this thing is looking so sexual. Eight heat for all that. Let's fucking go. Peaches says, I've had an exchanger that has 20% off. Woo! That sounds amazing. We need those. Find a clan search like we're perfect. <laughs> Do you have sinks? No, we don't have any sinks on you. The better exchangers are heavier, though. Oh, well, that kind of, like, ruins the point of it. Four tons. That's just shitty, then. That's... <laughs> that's just two normal exchangers. So, actually, that's not even any better. <laughs> what the fuck? Unless I'm missing something. That's gonna lame. Slots, though. Yeah, but plus versions tend to take more slots sometimes, too. I guess, in this case, they don't. That's not much of an advantage, though, yeah. They'll never be better than DHSs, basically. You can only use one in one slot. Oh, you can't stack exchangers? Oh. Oh, okay. Then I, I get it a bit more. You can stack them to PG? Yeah, I thought you could. Okay, Atlas. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, and, and, and as Avern always reminds us, they, they work better on maps where you um, have worse heat sinking, like on Badlands, Hot Biomes and stuff. So he says, it's a possible build for the Atlas, which are close for on gear. One Clan Gauss, two Clan ERPPCs, PPCs, one RLRM-15, two tons of ammo for Gauss and LRM, two tons ballistic tits, one, one ton energy tits, and seven DHS. Should do 300 damage at range of eight heat per turn. Damn, having enough tonnage for two different tits is damn. Actually, it's actually a good point. I could downgrade the Atlas's, um... I could downgrade the Atlas's tits by, like, one ton. To fit on a... Fit on the AMS, perhaps. If I have that kind of tits. I have a lot. Yeah, I could go down to, like, a... A two-ton tits. Instead of a three-ton. So you lose 5% to hit. But these Gausses are, like, maxed out most of the time anyway. So it's kind of okay. And then we could just take a bit of, like... Oh god, not there. Take a bit of, like, shit off the legs and fit in the AMS. Probably worth it. We'll just see if anyone else can fit it first, but probably worth it. Eclectic says, unless you're generating, like, 200 heat, stacking exchanges isn't really worth it. It makes sense because of, like, they wouldn't be, yeah. Each exchange would make the next one worse, I imagine. Main lens here is Atlas, Mustang, DHSs for the Mustang would let it go even harder, could be nice. Though the Mustang also gets shot a lot, so... Griffin. Main lens is Atlas, Hammer, Thor, or Grasshopper and Griffin now, I feel like. Depends how good the Thor is. Like, I feel like even, no matter how good the Thor is, the Grasshopper is still the king of machine gun ridiculousness. So we should put some gear into this thing, too. Theo says, exchangers come into their own of incredibly high alpha clan builds that run hotter than the sun. Yeah, like, if you get your heat up to, like, 120 or something, like, exchange will be amazing. Subject says, Grasshopper was insanely good for murdering XL engines, remember? Oh, yeah, true. I'm really looking forward to seeing our... Now that we've, like, had our chance to try them with the Jade, um... To try them with the Grayson's mechs, I look... Oh. Where'd the music go? There it is, hello. Can you guys still hear me? Hi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gross up residue hit defense, that makes sense, and we want to leave it there. So I can DHS now. A bit. 
a little bit, but it, I'm gonna run out of slots. Well, not if you, like, take off some sinks already, I guess. Why does Automod think you can't use the term I fucked my? What? Teachers in the Rifleman? Yeah, that'd be good for making the Rifleman really cost effective too. Because this thing is really good, but it's really hot. But now if you exchange out the heat bank, you take this away and instead you aim to make it like... Hmm... Hmm. It's not my best mech is the thing. I'm not taking it on my hardest missions. So probably don't. I agree though with Slink that like just one DH has to probably make it pretty good. We could put the AMS on the Mustang too. Can it go on the legs? No. It adds an ex I think the problem is it adds an explosion to my torsos though, and the torsos on the grass will get fucked a lot, so I don't want to do it. Hang on, move some shit. I have three of these. Maybe the warmer needs to give me some of the clan DHSs to fit in this. Does AMS use a support slot? No, it's just equipment. One there. I want to keep the ammo in that one, I think. Wanna panic, wanna panic up to Louis? Dun, 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 dun. Boom, and boom. Heat efficiency is going up. Heat sinking very nice now. I don't think we need to go for a third DHS on the Mustang. I think this will be enough. It was already like not doing terrible. It would just get a bit hot when it kept jumping and lasering everything. This is probably enough. I think this is probably enough. Just a couple. Very nice. Um, did I get any more clan MGs? Still only got one. <laughs> there isn't really a ton of point of putting it on. It hasn't got plus damage either, so. And no improved range. So until we get like a whole suite of these, and even then, like, because I don't have the plus damage, I may, I may prefer plus inner sphere MGs forever anyway. So like says, do we still want to run the tag on the grasshopper? I think it's good. You miss this build? Yeah, this build is great. It absolutely shreds Sub Hedgehog. It goes insane. It absolutely fucks. Maybe we can put it on the gun starter? It doesn't have the range. But yeah, if we had a whole suite of them, it would be good for savings. I think just one on its own isn't really worth it. Do clans have flamers and are they good? Yeah, exactly, PG, when you have six, exactly. Yeah, I think we want the AMS on for sure. I've been waiting for this. Oh, I just got a... 20, okay. 20, 40, 60, 80. 20, 40, 60, 80. 100, 120. 8... No. 20, 40, 60, 80, 126 rounds, 12. So I do need the third if I'm going LRM 20. Do need the third ton of ammo. Like I was saying, I could just go down one tit. Just go down to two tits instead of three. And then shave a little leg armor off and fit the AMS in. The only thing I just really don't like here is that, yeah, like, it... It means I've got a component on my torso is it's going to explode. I don't like that. I do not like that. That displeases me.
but... Do it like that. Yeah, now every now every torso I have explodes. I don't I don't love this because now every single part of the atlas is in danger. The legs explode, the gauss rifles explode, the AMS explodes. Maybe I should put the AMS on the right torso, or just not take it at all. This mech is just too explosive. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know. I, I don't think this is feeling filling me with confidence. I don't think it's like worth. Don't do it. The explosion risk is too much. Maybe on the Thor, if anyone. They've already got XL engine sides, so... Though that makes it even worse if you make your fucking sides explode. That or the Griffin. If we could, like, clan LRM and fit it on the Griffin. I do have more clan LRMs. I thought I used these. Did I not? Or do I just have more? This will be your Atlas. Yeah. Put it in head, Amos in head. I will not fucking do that. I will not fucking do that. Here's the question again. Does anyone know this? Does anyone know if case will protect equipment? Will case protect gals from exploding? Will case protect AMS from exploding? I don't think it will, but I'm willing to let... let I'm willing for someone to tell me I'm wrong. Cases for any explosion. Are you sure about that, Subhedgehog? It does work. Okay, then that's fine. Then it makes it even more sense to put it on the dervish. It makes more sense. So we're going to go Clan LRM15. I like Clan LRM15 here too because it also allows... Um, it also allows the dervish to be at close range better. Now we're going to go AMS as well. Fits in perfectly. It works for gorse explosions as well. Cool. So does that mean Clan Max? Their gauss just doesn't take off the section. Like, it'll die, but it won't take off the section. They just can't get ammo exploded no matter what. You can only engine crit them. Good old clanners. They just said no. They just said no to that shit. One twenty meters range. Nah. Clanners are such an OC faction. They are, yes. They really are. Do you have a missile tits? No. Why don't you? Maybe it's time to finally go missile tits on you. But then I can't fit other shit. I actually can't fit a missile tit on you because there just isn't room with the pharaoh. With the, I mean, with the, with the endo. I'd like to hear, but I can't. Unless I put ammo in the arms and I don't want to put all my ammo in the arms. That's just asking for a bad time. How, how big are they, missile tits? Oh, you can put them in the arm. Interesting. Slink says, how silly would it be to try and fit Clan LRM35 on this mech? Ah, uh, just slots-wise I couldn't fit it, I think. This is Bexrath or Case 1? No, Case 1 is what everyone has by default, Obsidian. Case 2 should be... Th this should be Case 2. Any mech that says it has Case should be Case 2. Gotta pack, gotta pack up to Louis. Do, 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 do. Thoth says case was created on tabletop because ammo explosions being instant death was frankly extremely stupid and unfun for old parties. So they just wrote it into existence and the new techno technology made it so you could ignore it. Yes. I imagine it was very unfun. With plus damage. I, I like I like the arm tits too. I think. I think we had Clan LRM5. We could squeeze them in as well. 
But I think I like the arm arm LRMs. Oh, sorry, the arm tits here too for plus ten percent to hit on all the LRMs. Cause we do have a lot of titses anyway. We have to like we don't have to like carefully take care of our tits or anything. We lose like a tiny bit of damage here, but then we can buff that back up by having more missiles hit. So I don't I don't hate this. Like we've got multiple of, of these all over the place. Because otherwise you're trying to like squeeze in the clan LRM20 somewhere. And the amount of extra ammo you would require for that. I think I think the tit is best here. Let's go for the tit. I like this. I technically we are going a bit down on damage, like by 10. But I feel like this is a big upgrade because more accurate missiles overall, and the AMS is good. AMS very good. I'll get it in the schedule. And now, do we want, do we have more DHSs left over? I think we have one left, don't we? And that can go on the rifleman if so. And we need to find who has that damn hit gyro. Yeah, we have one of these. I guess that can go on the rifleman unless the Thor wants it. We'll see what happens when the Thor's done. Mm, the new tech is looking good, though. By the way, Beagle, did you see the link I sent you for the Mecha and player tips? People are adding to it. Uh, I did see it. Thank you. Thank you very much. For those who don't know, um, I, I want to do, like, a new player new player guide videos for Mecha in between just my, my fight videos for the for the game. And um, sending me to Google Doc for me, helping collate, like, I'm getting brainstorming from all of you as well, on for especially for new players. What would be good to include in like a as as bullet point topics ideas in a new player guide of like okay so when you first get Mechabellum, you know you should know about this this that that this think about this something I can like gloss over each topic quickly for like five or ten minutes in a video and then just do extra videos later to go into depth more on those topics as needed. Um, so if you have any ideas, especially if you're new to Mechabellum and you have questions of like how do I do this or that, what do I do? Um, but um. Yeah, um, Sammy, have you got the link? It should be in the Mechabellum channel on our Discord, I think. Please feel free to fill in and, and help out, because I want to be exhaustive. I want to be brisk, but exhaustive. I want to cr cross over everything quickly in, this, in, the, in the first video, but I also want to like not leave out any really important glaring gaps in knowledge of like, oh, I just didn't tell you to think about this. So if you want to help out with me thinking about that, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Hemi, hemi, hemi. Hemi, hemi, hemi. Hemi, hemi, hemi. Wait a minute. Am I sinking too much heat now on you? No, not quite. Check out the Thor again. That's what I wanted to do. See ya, Maxi. Chat, don't let me forget about fan art. So we can make a mail and stuff this week. Thank you. I'll try to. See ya, Maxi. So yeah, the Thor could do with a good hit gyro as well if we can find that first. Because the Grasshopper's hat got one, now we want the Thor to have one. Three melee hit, obviously you're... Well, we're going to move all this over, but obviously you're pretty happy in what you're doing. Who has got my hit gyro? Not Ossol. You have another exchanger though, which... Isn't terrible to know about. Rangefinder plus. These Wolverines ain't been out, I think, even once since we got the um I think we can I think we can shelve them. They haven't been out once since we got the Griffin, I don't think. Maybe no one maybe I'm I I thought I just put a new one on. Not this one. I thought I had a, a two a plus two one on someone. Maybe I'm just going to take the one off the Marauder. Because you got a plus two hit defense one. So I guess, yeah, I, I, I guess it's just the one on the Marauder. So we'll take it off the Marauder. We're probably going to shelve the Marauder for now. Um, because it's just got so many other competitors for its slot. I mean, we're not even using the Victor. 
We've got enough snipers, you know. Um, so take that, hit the fence off. Yeah, probably probably shelve the venerable marauder. We're paying maintenance on it, and we're just not using it. The furtive marauder is so easily forgotten. I love this mech. It like really carries oh, in the middle, but the hammer I think just kind of overwhelmed it at a certain point with its own goodness. Someone should build an upgrades matrix, says Benny, which shows which units counter what units and which upgrades can be used to change what they counter. Nah, I disagree. I don't like at all any talk about this counters this in Mechabellum, even though there are things like steel ball kill sledges, because it's it promotes that kind of like thing every other game does of like just look up like a guide of like, okay, this counters this, do this, this, this. I don't want to promote anything in Mechabellum as a learning resource myself for people coming to learn the game. I don't want to promote anything that like puts people into that mindset of like, use this to counter this. You have to know what makes what thing good more fundamentally to be good at the game, I think. Beyond like the absolute basics of like crowd control kills crowds. Thoughts is it, at this point, I think the Wolvie, the Marauder... So, so I don't like um, counter-charge for that reason for the game. Thoughts is it, Thoughts is it, at this point, I think the Wolvie's the Marauder, the Centurion, at least one Fire Scepter, and probably the Rifleman can all go. The Rifleman, I think, sticks around and replaces the Scent. You either keep the Scent or the Rifleman. So hit the fence for the Thor here. 4042 heat. Anything else? What else did I get? Just more DHSs. Um, I don't have room for a DHS here. Again, I just don't like this Clan L pulse. I want to- I, I don't like pulses. I want ER- ERL is what I would much prefer here. We just need an ER- an ERL. Don't I have another SLDF ERM? That could do some work. This is 600 meters range, which makes it nice with the Gauss rifle. And the LRMs, like it's a very long range build. But I could go for 450 range ERM, and I think I have another SLDF- I'm not using two. Yeah, so the FERM laser. So you could actually go for... Thoughts is between those two, I'd keep the scent then, just for having a 50 ton body to throw in if you get hard rate restrictions. Yeah, the scent is good for if you get 55 ton weight restricted, but the, the rifleman is way more effective overall for the extra 10 tons um, for the recoil quirk, so I'd probably keep both. Yeah, and you're gonna have to fire starters for duels. Yeah, we, we, we gotta keep some stuff around for different things. Though once I get- I should really keep upgrading my techers so I can just rebuild them when I need them too, I guess. But I hate having to like- there's no preset. I hate having to like rebuild it off memory. Yeah, I reckon take off the clan L pulse here and go ERMs. What's the heat like actually for doing that? That's 23 heat. This is 15. So the, the SLDFs are really good. And then do the clan ERM as well. That's gonna be quite hot, but now you can put on DHSs because you've got. You've got, you've got, you've got stuff for that. Should now put on the DHS. Right there. And that is good damage, still pretty good range on them. And I think maybe just more more normal sinks at this point. I, more more DHSs would be good here. Uses all the slots too. Yeah, I think just like more slots, uh, more sinks in general would be good. There you go. That's nice. That's nice for a jump dating mech to be over your heat. That's good. As long as this thing doesn't get blasted just but for the sin of being a heavy, I think it's going to be pretty strong. Maybe the rear armor is a little heavy at 45. Maybe turn that into 40. Congrats on your Highlander. <laughs> you can mix doubles and singles, F? Yeah, absolutely. No reason you can't. ERMs. ERMs. Getting a lot of ERMs is going to be really good. Bless those clan LRMs for being- it's just cheating. It's just cheating being this- this, um... This fucking lightweight. It's cheating, man. Clanners just cheat.
with the rangefinder too, which is good. It doesn't replace the grasshopper, but it's pretty good in its own right. This is a different kind. This The grasshopper is like the jumpy evader, go in and kill shit bitch. The Thor is like the jumpy frontline for the snipers that can snipe with them. Very sexy. Slink says, I think I still run this mech as a close range of AC-20, etc., but this looks pretty good long range fit. Yeah, I really prefer long range for the reasons we saw in those last two clanner missions. It's just way easier to deal with the AI like that. It's like the only way to stop dying quickly. Arn says, you could probably move 10 to 20 armor from back to front on the Thor. Yeah, probably. Okay. Mm, that was the DHS was good about the rifleman, so you stay like this. And yeah, we're probably gonna like store some mechs, because how long till we travel? 30 days. Let's store some mechs. Store the Marauder. Cut down on some costs a little bit here. Store the Coolverine. Stupid also, I can really store this too. Ah yes, and we need to exchange, we need to turn the Hanger Queen into the Hanger Queen. Hanger Queen and Queen and... Do you have a melee mech? Yeah, yeah, it's Hanger Queen. And we're about to exchange her up to the new version. So. Rhino the Niners doesn't take jump jets. Oh! Right! Then maybe don't. Right, I forgot we have a, a, a super special Thunderbolt that has jump jets. Maybe don't then. Yeah, never mind. Maybe don't then. Maybe it's not worth the extra 10 heat sinking and the the case, I think, then. Like, case is cute. Having 10 extra heat sinks is cute. I mean, ten, sorry, 10 extra heat sinking is cute. But actually, I maybe just store this then. Because actually, the Hanger Queen of the jump jets is... I forgot. I completely forgot. Thank you. You just saved me a lot of heartache. Yes, the Hanger Queen with the Jump Jets, I think, remains supreme as the Light Bully. So I think we actually keep her just like this. But don't we have, like, more plus lasers to put on her now? Yeah, we do, because we've taken them off everyone else. We can actually make her even scarier now. Definitely plus accuracy, because of it, her job is to kill lights. Plus accuracy, plus damage. And uh, just plus plus accuracy M lasers if I got them. Just all over the place. She is a light killer. That's what she's here to do. See, this, this is uh, actually a ship that pulses would be good on. If she could handle the heat, which, um, she, you know. She's built the melee, okay? Probably also good to not put, like, lost tech on a mech that isn't front, like, one of the best, but then again, I don't like pulses that much anyway. And the heat gets even crazier. But that'll stack really nice with her uh, three accuracy. No pulse for light killer? Nah, it's too much heat, too much weight. This is better, I think. This will this will work better overall. Oh. Do you want plus crit as well? May as well, I don't use these things for anything. Get the crits, why not? That looks pretty, pretty good as an upgrade for her though, I think. Just change that around. <laughs> but she's already great. She's already fantastic. At her job, anyway. I think I think she's great. Oh, fuck, the S lasers. I can make the S lasers better. So actually, funnily enough, Thunderbolt 9S, I think you go into storage. Boop. 
Just take the fucking DHSs off it and say thanks, and that's it. We may one day use the Orion again. I don't know why we would, though. Like, if you're not going to use the Marauder, why would you use the Orion for the same drop cost? I feel like I like the Marauder better. I feel like the Orion was really cool in vanilla, but there's just, like, better, better options for it. Like, I would just rather have this be the Marauder, you know? In the end, the Marauder could do this build and have the hyper extending actuators and be a command mech. And just be better overall. So there, there's no sense me keeping this Orion when I could instead have the Marauder back. You know what I mean? So I think this also goes... Boop, stored. For the missile slots? Yeah, and I'm not even using them there. So that's a good point that the Orion could been could have been used for like clan LRM bullshit. Okay. Fire blotter and gun starter. You need a better match than the clans anyways, oh yeah, hopefully. You're talking about the quality of the BT community, by the way? What do you mean, like... Like, how nice they are, or how, like, base they are? Let's, I think, go for cockpit injury resist on you. And One big thing that the Battletech community is not based about, um, always falling into the trap of hating the Capellans and shit. Because of the inherent jingoism in the setting. Other than that, though, that's really the only thing. When it, like, whenever like a, a BattleTech fan comes in here and it's like, "Yeah, let's genocide all the Capellans," it's like, "Yeah, I mean, you don't have to go so hard about it, though." Like, look, I like the video too, where they're like doing the joke of Steiner Scout Lance, and they say they kicked the orphanage into the river. But like, you know, you don't have to go so hard on that. I think some. Some, some of the Battletech fans I'm talking about, not just like as a joke, but like they like seriously are like, yeah, 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 like genocide all the civilians, they're just Capellans, who cares? They, they, they make me a little uncomfortable, like that's a little bit too, too, too much. They get a little bit too excited about it, you know, like, oh, just slow down, whoa, whoa, just like a little bit of genocide, you know, like, just slow down. A little bit of fictional genocide, you know, don't, don't, don't actually like unironically, unironically be into it, that's a little concerning. Those people are clanners just waiting to realize they're clanners, yeah. <laughs> Actually, the Mustang should have got the injury thing. Hang on. Stop work. Yeah, Stellaris players are very like that, too. Stellaris players are, like, super unironic Imperium people. I have another rangefinder. Who wants to have a rangefinder? BZBL says, me agreeing with you as I melt one, one trillion, g gajillion, billion skaven on my other monitor. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Danger says, at least Crusader Kings fans are just super into incest. Yeah, woo! -hoo! Phew! Thank goodness. Well, that's, yeah, good, good thing, yeah. Oh, oh boy. Alright, let's put, I think, an extra rangefinder into the hopper. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? There it is. On it. I'll let you know when that's done. Okay. Sona says, I'm too scared of suboptimal plays to do any incest, though. That's such a great reason to not do incest, because you're scared of it not being mid-maxed enough. I love gaming. Cockpit injury mod for you now. You can have it back, actually. No, way. do you need it, though? I feel like I've gone back and forth on this, because... This you're gonna be just going in there. Ah, fuck it. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Uh... You're always gonna have the rangefinder and the dervish. Then you have two, because otherwise you don't have two in your main force. Oh no, you have one in the Atlas too. The Atlas also has one. 
All right. I'm I'm doing it again. I keep canceling this because I keep changing my mind. I'm so sorry. I'm really sorry. Wait, why am I a ton down on this thing now? What did I do? This doesn't cost any weight, does it? Why am I a ton down on the grasshopper? What the fuck did I take off? What? You removed a sink? Oh, because it was in the head. Right, I didn't put it back in. Thank you. There we go. Yeah, because I had a head sink. Thank you. Victor is the same, I think. By the look of it. Okay, so now you can have the rangefinder for now. for each roll here. Got the light bullying. Okay, it don't look it doesn't, it doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look too bad here. Maybe just put the lights like this. I think our builds are done. I want to keep I think at least one Wolverine around. Maybe I should have kept the other one instead of the Tangverine. But I want to keep at least one Wolverine around for in case something happens to the Griffin. Have two mediums. Keep the lights around as well. This is what we keep around, I think. You care what the crit layout looks like? What is it? Well, I care about the crit layout too in terms of location, but you don't mean in terms of like inside the sub location, do you? Like that doesn't matter, right? It just matters what location it's in, right? I, th I think my builds are done now. You have to do mean that. What does it matter apart from aesthetics to have your crit slots in a different order within the location? Looking good is important. That's fair. That's totally fair. Totally, totally, totally fair. I, I approve of that. But, um... I wrapped up that job you asked mm. for, Commander. Mm -hmm. Sorry, fam. We say you build each location up one item at a time to get the slots organized properly. You know you don't have to, right? Top not to work if I may say so. I don't think you do. I, I might be telling you how to suck eggs here. I'm sorry. I'm sure you would have figured this out. But can't you just like... Every time you just do this, it changes the order? Or am I stupid? You can tell me right now. I'm, I'm sure you would have come across this. You can tell me right now if I'm dumb. Doesn't that work? Just juggling around in the menu does not change the order. Really? Well, there you go. That's the danger of telling someone how to suck eggs, folks. They probably know how to do it better than you. Okay, Med Bay 3 is a bit expensive right now. That's a bit expensive right now. Is there any, like, cheap... That's kind of cheap for 1,000 tech points. I'll buy that. Sure thing. It'll take a bit, but we'll get it done. Onwards. You have like millions in mechs. Gear you could sell, yeah. We got a good amount. That's why we're gonna, that's why we're gonna go do this Karitan Alliance. And then we, we're gonna do another sell. Sell, sell. Report for you, Commander. Really happy to say we can go back down to normal morale now and not have to pay a million every time. Um, now that we have 41 morale is awesome. Comes to the news bureau. The invasion continues as nearly 30 more worlds fall to the invaders as they initiate a second wave of attacks across the coldwood border of the inner sphere. The invaders appear to be composed of multiple different factions as their mechs and spacecraft have a variety of different insignia drawn on them. In addition to highly advanced battle mechs, the invaders also possess warships. Although for the most part, why, what are the caps, clanners? Although for the most part, those restrict themselves to establishing orbital superiority while the mechs engage in ground combat. After a... What? 
Yeah, Jamble just yelled, go Clanners. Jam Jamble's a Jade Falcon stan, I guess. After a jailbreak staged on the occupied colony of Turtle Bay, the invaders have demonstrated incredible firepower as well as a complete lack of morality by using a warship to bombard the city of Edo from orbit. Hundreds of thousands of people were killed in this atrocity. The only positive outcome of the situation was the escape of Hohiro Kurita from the prison. <laughs> CW Rule says the morale boosting Argo upgrades give you a lot of morale from events, so soon you'll be able to go low, pay, and keep max morale if you want. Yeah, that'll be nice too. Okay. Um, you know the great thing about the clanners taking a second wave of planets, by the way? It means that they're closer, so it's quicker to get back to them when we go back up north. Great. Really handy. Yeah, it's great. I'm going south for this flashpoint, and then hopefully the clanners are taking a few more planets by then, and I could just go back up north uh, even quicker to fight them. Hey, let the clanners come to you. It's really convenient. Benny says, what a perfect time for Jamble to scream Go Clanners right before an announcement of the Convenient War Crime. <laughs> yeah. Mercenaries, the game! In the middle of the afternoon, you find Jason WFD hunkered in the arcade playing Mercenaries, a tie-in of the popular Hollywood show. Commander, have you played this game yet? Maybe it touches a little too close to home. See, I'm managing my own mercenary company in the periphery. Over his shoulder, you see charts and data and little icons representing all the mechs at his disposal. You flash back to Darius's recent run out of monthly expenses. I'm a bit stuck. What do you think I should do? Send Jason to WFD to the training mines! <laughs> Jason, you're never going to make it as a mech warrior if you're goofing off playing mech make-believe mercenary. Get your ass in the training modules and learn some real skills. Damn, what the fuck? I didn't think that was what was going to happen. Oh my god! Oh my god! I didn't realize I was gonna say that! Shit! Looking- I thought this would help him be better. Looking chastised, he apologizes and hurries out of the arcade. He doesn't even pause to look out of the game. Oh, Glancing at the screen, you see it's only a couple more days until his blackjack is refitted and his best mechware is healed up and there's one more juicy contract available in the system. Oh, I feel so bad, Jason. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is a Brad for a moment when he rants about uh, Sib on the computers. That's that's so mean. I'm so sad about that. I'm sorry, Jason. I really am sorry. I have such regret. Yeah, Shen is smiling. Computer games. Love gets like no XP too. Yeah, it's like 200 XP. Like, who the fuck cares? It was just like... Probably worse than what you could have got from the other options anyway. He just goes to the training button and cries. The 200 XP is life experience. He's learning that you can't trust the commander to be cool. Whoop. Sorry, Jason. Jason's gonna leave and go to the Grayson's Marauders now. <laughs> no, please. Technically, it's Croker, not me, but I'm, I'm like the commander, and Croker's like the commander at the same time, and it's weird, but it kind of works out. Pick up game. Oh my god. Jason again. As you're working out in a machine in the Argo's gym, a small group of mech warriors clear the equipment out of the way and start setting up a makeshift basketball court. A ventilation seal ring apparently makes a fine hoop. So subject and Jason approach you. Are you going to play this time, commander? Two on two. You can be Vastral Corgi. The other mech warriors cheer enthusiastically. Decline the invitation, play a friendly game, push yourself to win. Play to win, teach Jason another lesson. <laughs> no, I want to click play a friendly game. That's so mean, no. Don't push yourself to win. Oh my god! 
Your team wins the toss, but that turns out to be the only easy part of the game. In the final play, Subject G lofts a desperate shot from range, missing wide. Astral Corgi grabs the rebound and kicks it back to you. A crossover dribble leaves Jason WFD floundering, one foot tripping over the other, and you calmly drain the winning shot. <laughs> After Why is it Jason again? After politely shaking hands, Subject G looks appropriately chagrin. That was a good game, Commander. Guess I better stick to killing things in my mech. That's fucking right! Astro Cookie claps him on the back. Yeah, maybe try calling Bank before you Alpha Strike. It might help. They can see you hassling each other on the way to the showers. Oh my god. Nima says, This is like Send Deep joining that three during the DD basketball game. I'm so glad you remember that. <laughs> Jason says, Fuck this Merc company! <laughs> this is so fucked up! <laughs> Let's get more tech points. All right, I'll get we, uh, they're right, we got so much money, we're about to get more at the flashpoint. This is like back to back for Jason. Give us another event. Come on, do it. Keep dumping on Jason, game. <laughs> It's sort of like fucking double great too, because we just told Jason, stop, stop playing games and go train for war. And then a game comes up and then the commander's good at the game too and just try. So it's like the worst of both worlds. <laughs> L plus too much time in the arcade plus can't hoop for shit. <laughs> you got to imagine Jason like looks like, um... Paul Blart as well, the whole time. It makes it even funnier. That's like what he does. He's like klutzy in the movies, right? It's great. He's like trying to dunk in his segue. Let's begin the long hunt. That expired in 10 days. That was nice timing. <laughs> Subject says, imagine losing in b-ball to a person who spent most of their time in a gurney. Oh yeah, Crooker just got back from like dying in the grasshopper too. <laughs> What's up? What's up, uh, Bobby Carita? Commander, thank you for heeding my call. You'll forgive me if I'm not my usual jovial self. We have important matters to discuss. I'm very jovial because I have clan tech. <laughs> What's up? Just arrived from a place. A massacre took place there. An entire farming village put to the torch, slaughtered by a monster in a Davion uniform. Let's fucking kill this motherfucker. Colonel Basil Lees, yeah, Basil, don't trust a person named Basil. Basil Lees of the AFFS to this system. I want you to help me deliver the coordinator's justice onto him. Bury him under a hundred tons of steel. Yes. Sounds good. I'll provide you the coordinates of a stronghold on the planet's surface. Lees has ensconced himself inside. Bring it down under his head and crush his soldiers in the rubble. Oh, you had a friend. You had a pal. Okay. Colonel Lee is a dead man. Let's do it. Whatever missions do we have here? Oh, one skulls. Delicious one skulls. Yum, 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 yum. Y'all like still fighting each other? Yo, you, you guys should worry about the clanners up north, hey. They're like a thing. Is there like a store here? I don't think it's a store here. No, no store. This is a no store planet. Okay. Draconis time. This mission completes and I think I'm allied. Do we even need much salvage here, considering? Don't think salvaging... I don't think salvaging inner spheroid stuff is what we need right now, unless they just randomly have, like, good tech. I think just go to, like, 579 in case they have something cool. Like, there's still, like, cool... Just, let's not become elitist. Like, there is still cool, like, inner sphere shit. Although, wait... How much money are you saving? No. Yeah, probably like this. 
Anyway, so... What do I get to bring on this? Obviously, where is the griff? Obviously the griff. Now we're in 50s, can get Helm Tech as well, remember? Yeah, I've seen that before as well. That's right, Beagle for getting his roots, that's right. I want to test out the Thor, it's quite light too, so that's cool. I want to test out the Thor and the, the Whammy. And then maybe just the Hoppy. Or maybe something lighter, like... It's only three and a half skull. Maybe instead of the Hoppy, go Thor, Whammy. And then... Rifleman. That's still pretty heavy. Scent? Saves a little. You'd have to go to a light light if you really wanted to go below 200. At this point we just didn't go below 200 when we have two heavies. So yeah, Rifleman or... Hoppy. Hoppy's not that much more here. Maybe just go Hoppy. No command mech? Yeah, you're right, I have a command mech. That's the only problem with the Dervish compared to Wolverines. You gotta bring the Marauder back out now, folks. None of these are command mechs. Only, only the Atlas. Maybe bring the Wolvie instead. The command bonus is good, but I don't think it's that good. I think we'll go harder with the Stang. Okay, Corgi wants to go on a mission. Corgi in the high spirits. Ooh, subject, do you know you've hit your 2020? That happened quicker than I realized. That happened out of nowhere. Look at you. This is what happens when you settle into a mech you like. You're now getting, uh, what is your heavy mech bonus? Plus three heat sinking. Oh, another three on top. And you're already really with the DHS even better. Nice. Free heat sink. Carver in the Doivish. I gotta I gotta skill y'all too. This is this is like the power now of us like really just focusing people into the same same shit. Five heat of turn it should be. It says three heat sinking. Um, who's going to be the Thor pilot? We know that Brit is our Mustang Sally, but who pilots the Thor? It is... It doesn't need to be Master Tack, though it would help because it's a heavy. You wouldn't say no to it. It doesn't need to be evasive expert either. It's so just like... Same kind of build, I think. Just like an... Uh, like him. You have two of them now. You gotta watch out. Um, just like an evading... An evading heavy is good. So sure footing plus Master Tack is just good. Nothing wrong with that. Alright, but I need to level them all up. Hang on. So remember, it's Stang, Thor, Hammer, Dervish. It's got a large engine. Wait, the Thor has a... Wait, what? Hang on, let me see something. Thor is movement 140-240. Okay, so it moves at Wolverine speed. Oh shit, it goes in phase medium already? What the fuck? Fucking Clan XL engines? Which, we have to remember, Clan XL engines. Be very careful not to let this thing get too damaged because this thing will die way quicker than the Thunderbolt if it takes damage. Clan mechs do go hard. You can lose one side, just not both, yeah. So, in that sense, we could actually do an evasive expert. Mm, you could actually do an evasive expert, and they might actually keep their evasion. Which could be really actually fucking powerful by putting Blinky or someone in it. Or you could go Master Attack and have a Phase 4, permanent Phase 4 um, Heavy, which is also funny. But yeah, maybe the Evasive Expert for actual tanking then. Uh, Brit. More gunnery. Training confirmed, Commander. You still want good cold shots because of the gals? Yeah, but you can also do that on the others, like the Hemi. Just feed them all to the Hemi. 
Receiving, waiting for I think the evasive expert could actually keep a lot of evasion on the Thor because of that movement speed. And we can take it because we don't need Master's Hack as much. That could be really good. You're still going from Cool Shot Mastery. Yeah. Croker is just more gunnery here. Yeah, because we've got five jump jets too, which I, th I think the Thundies only have four. I might be wrong. Reporting. But it should be just really mobile in general. Commander? Man, Ham was 20k at the start of like last weekend. After like like six missions later, boom, 30 right that. Just like that. Hey Ham, do you want to finally like maybe get some guts? That could be cool. Oh no, Ham's saving for Cold Shot Mastery, which we've almost got. Good to go. Yes, command. It's one thing to keep in mind about Ham doesn't currently have the overheat threshold thing. Waiting for orders. Yes, command. More gunnery for Jason. Training complete. Orders. Receiving you. Subject, big level for you too. Look at all this shit. Subject about to hit that eight gunnery, chief. Oh damn. Damn. That's a lot of gunnery. Jason says, can you skip gunnery and put my skill into basketball for now? You got it, champ. Orders. Standing by. 73rd turtle. Has got the overheat now, just going for the sprinting, I think. Catch up on that. Mech warrior training complete. And cucumber. Standing by. Little cute cucumber. Can get overheat threshold. Yeah, I can get overheat threshold. Training complete. We're just gonna have to give watching cucumber our own portrait because watching cucumbers never come back since the first streams when they were in a locust. And it's months later now, and I I want them to have a custom portrait like everyone else does. We're gonna have to just pick on we just gonna pick on a picture for them. I'm just gonna give them one of the anime pictures. You'll see. I'm just gonna pick like one of the really handsome anime pictures and give it to him. All right, this is probably the last mission of the day. So what was it? It was Hoppy, Thoppy, uh, Hammy, and Griffy. Brit, uh, Subjects, Carver, and who goes in the Thor? Who was I gonna do? I was gonna do Ham, but now I'm thinking Evasive Expert. Now I'm thinking uh, like a blinky. Like a blinky or a hyphenated. But I just like having sensor lock on everyone too much. It's such a good skill. Give Jason a chance of redemption. Jason's the wrong build for this. How's the rest of the flashpoint going? Good. We, we, we were dumb of it. We beat it. Absolutely trash, Jade Falcon. It would either be Cucumber. 4866. 6866. Okay, you're just doing better. Not taking Jason. The L's keep coming. There, there's no mech for Jason here. What's Jason gonna pilot? The Hermes is gone. <laughs> 6866. Okay, looking pretty good. Jason's busy balling, that's right. Astro does have high spirits. Oh, yeah, yeah, and they're actually, like, the same build, but even better. So, yeah, take Astro. Let's go. Perfect. And Corgi is... Corgi only has minus, um, plus 5% to be hit because they're jinxed, that's all. No big deal. Corgi was our first Thunderbolt pilot. Let's see if it was the Thunderbolt's fault or the, the pilot. Let's go. Alright, 3-3-3-2, three, 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 three. we all go on phase 3, which is awesome. The new Too Good to Not Take skill isn't Bulwark anymore, it's Master Attack. I just can't imagine not taking Master Attack on all of these people. But we don't take it on everyone, because we don't take it on the, the uh, some of them. They can get away with it. Wait, why does it say 2 initiative? 
Is that lying? Large engine. The large engine for the weight class provides one initiative. It doesn't show here? Okay, cool. Let me show the game. Okay, cool. Let's go! I want to test out these new builds. I want to see the hammy going even hammier. I want to see the Thor, obviously. I want to see what our first clan mech is like. The Stang, I don't think, got too many increases. I think I got a couple of DHSs, actually. To let it go harder. And remember that the... Griffin... Remember that the Dervish has the AMS now. Remember that. Try to remember that. Everything here has got a little bit something different. I think the Grasshopper has the least changes. Arguably the Griffin just has the new AMS too. Did the Combine have those goofy Katana mechs? So I hear it, yeah. If you buddy buddy Wolf Dragoons, are they still clan mechs? Are Wolf Dragoons just like Clan Wolf undercover? I think, isn't that what you, someone said about them? They're always seeing it up. More or less, yeah. I gotta read the Battletech book sometime. They sell the 100 ton mad? Oh shit. Okay, let's go. 